a black mother. It's the day after Shavuos, Matzah Yishuos, called Yom Tovayach, as we learned in Chagiga. And today's daf is the Tzadik Beis Amad Aleph, and we're still discussing that woman who finds herself in these unfortunate circumstances, where she ended up marrying somebody else, thinking that her husband is dead, and it turned out to be otherwise. Anyway, Nisa's Alpi Bezin takes it. The Mishnah says that if she relied on a bezin, which means there's a single witness and a bezin rule that she can uh, marry the second guy and then her husband fronts up, she has to leave uh, both people. Says the Gemara, oh, Mazidi, says Zidi, lesser the Masnisi, Militoni, Bein Medrash. There's a Brysa, and because of the Brysa, we are going to reject our Mishnah, which is a very rare thing that a Brysa should override a Mishnah. What's the story? Militoni, Bein Medrash. In Beis HaMedrash, we learn Hoyru Bezin. There's a concept that a Bezin makes a Psaq Din. A Bezin makes a ruling and turned out to be, it was the wrong ruling. So if you're an individual, you're exempt. If it was a Klau Yisro, or we'll see more hurry as you know how many people, <clears throat> then the Bezin has to bring a Pad Helem Dover Shal Tibur. This is only certain kind of a bull and half of the whole community, but this is only if the Bezin made a mistake. So what happens if Bezin Paskin, Shashaka Chama, Matsoy Shabbos, they said, oh, it's very Matsoy Shabbos, the sunset. It's very dark out there. So they rule the sunset. But then 20 minutes later, the clouds disperse and suddenly they realize it's still daytime. So do we, and everyone meanwhile was Machal Shabbos. Do we say, well, there's a psak of Bezin? So the Bryce is a very interesting thing. Ainzu Hoyroyal Toys. That's not a psak. That's not a psak Bezin. That is Bezin. You know, Bezin tells you not a ruling in Halach. A legal ruling, but rather a ruling in Matthias, a factual ruling, and they made an error. They made an error, and every individual is responsible. And because um, <clears throat> everyone can see now that there was an error over here. And Ishik Nashi has it, everyone can see. No, if it's a psak, you can always, it's always debatable. Nothing is ever 100% in, in, in a psak. But here it's clear the sun is out. There's nothing to debate about. In other words, they were talking about a fact. And facts are not considered a psak. And therefore, the same thing over here. Um, Bezin, when Bezin made a ruling and said, yes, the husband is dead. It's not a halachic ruling. That's a, based on facts. Well, the facts are wrong because the husband just fronted up. So that's not called the hero. El is an error. And and um, and you cannot rely on the Bezin, which means that you have to bring a carbon. Our mission said you don't have to bring a carbon because you're relying on the Bezin. The Bryce says, clearly, you do have to bring a carbon because it's not called a halacha, a hero. This is called a toss. Yeah. <clears throat> So the Gemara says, <clears throat> so, we, so we don't pass like a Mishnah. Abnachmus agrees. He says, hey, Rohi. this is also called a psak. This is called a psak also. Bezin made a psak that you rely on a single leg. What do you mean? I'm take that proof to you. This is called a psak. What was the mistake of Bezin? What was the thing? Generally speaking, you never believe a single witness when it comes to such grave, grave situations, especially when it comes to marriage. And here we believe a single witness. So the Bezin made a ruling. This is a legal standing as well, that you're relying on the single witness. And therefore, if Bezin made a mistake and, and turned out to be the husband who's back, it's a, it's a, it's a mistake in Hayro. And you're exempt from bringing karmachatas. My time, why is that? This is a ruling. Oh, my Rabbi Rabbi says, furthermore, Teda, I'll prove you the other way around. I'll prove you, tell you, so I'll prove you. It's not an, an error in halacha. This is an error in fact, if the husband's alive or not. Let's say, I'll prove you that this is different than a normal case of ruling. Let's say Bezin made a psak. That chaylev, trait for fats is kosher. Or bedam, they, they said that this kind of blood of this region of the body is lehet teda. Made a psak, a legal psak. Then the Hoda Chazu time and so the later they changed their mind, they realized they made a mistake in halacha that all the blood is forbidden and so on. Kihadri va'amlatayde. If the next day they say, you know what, no, we made a mistake again, we're going to go back to our original psak. That's tayde. Loi majgichinu. Nobody uh, is going to listen to them anymore because what changed? However, below hey chadas eidecha. If one aid comes along and says, look. Your husband died. We said before, Sharina, we are going to allow her to, we'll permit her to marry somebody else. Then also today, come along to witnesses. What are you talking about? We saw your husband is still alive. Then Asina, we're going to ask her. And then Kihadur also ate Acherin. If tomorrow another witness comes along and says, I say that your husband, you know, was alive back then, but today in the morning he died, Sharina, we have a new testimony. And again, we're relying on a new aid. 
Now, why we're relying on new age when, uh, if, when we change our mind regarding a psak back and forth, back and forth, we're continuing, you know, vacillating, then eventually they're going to listen to us anymore. But in this case here, it comes along another age, we're going to listen all over again. Why are we going to listen all over again? Because it's not a psak. My time, we made an error in, in, in facts, but the facts have changed. And that's why facts can change. <clears throat> so it's a right, it's a question of, of a toss. Also holds it's a toss, not a psak, but a toss. How do I know that? The Tanya Rabbeza Rabbeza says, Yikoiv Hadin Esahor. Rabbeza says, an interesting expression. He's talking about it here. If somebody married based on the on account of a single witness, and the Bezin ruled, go ahead and get married. And he says, let the din penetrate the mountain, let it penetrate right through the mountain. And uh, we don't, he said, don't say, oh, well, superficially, it looks like a bezin, psak of a bezin, and therefore she's exempt from a karma chattas when the husband comes back. No, you have to probe and, and go into the depths of the mountain, and you'll see that it was actually a mistake, that we, it was a mistake of facts, and, uh, and therefore she has to bring a normal chattas. It's an error in the stand of psak of bezin, and therefore she has to bring a karma chattas. Now, he, I mean, before I'm going to so if you take the mistake, we should walk him as a carbon. It makes sense why she's bringing a carbon because it wasn't a psak of a bezin. El, he, I'm going to if it was considered a psak, a my massive carbon, why bring a carbon? She relied on a psak of bezin, she should be exempt. Says he more left proof. Could the Dilma Kosova Rabbez, maybe Rabbez of the opinion that Yochich or Osa Bahiraz Bezin Chai, maybe he holds that if when do we say that you're exempt if you follow Bezin if it's Klal Yisrael? Well, the majority of Eden, the majority of you trade it. But over here it's an individual. Maybe they hold that an individual. Um, you still have to bring a carbon. Where's the no? In case of so, my geek of Adin, what kind of expression let the din penetrate the mountain? It's irrelevant. If you tell me it's purely because that's the halacha that if a, a bezin made a, a, a mistake and you're an individual, you still have to bring a carbon, then that's it. By saying geek of Adin is hard, you're saying let the din penetrate the mountain, let it break through this mountain. What you're saying is that even though you might think that it's considered a mistake of a bezin and therefore should be exempt. It's not a mistake of a ruling of a bezin. It's a mistake of a factual, you know, the base of wrong facts, and therefore it's not a ruling. And that's why you have to be in court. It says you further. It says, um, <clears throat> what happened? It says in the mission, Haru bezin, not the bezin. Okay, you go paskin, and then the mission said. That, uh, but if she didn't follow, get married legally, she did something wrong, then she has no excuse. Best and never rule that she's permitted, and therefore uh, she has to bring a carbon and everything else. So mother or <clears throat> Mike Kilkill, uh, uh, what is exactly, uh, in what way did she ruin herself? What happened here? She went out there and she was a uh, Mazana. She didn't, she, she didn't live with anybody that's legal to her. She just didn't get, go ahead of marriage. She just did Znus. And that's already a sin. Rabbi Yechina says, No, we're talking about she got married, but in an illegal fashion. For example, she's a widow with the Kohen Godel, a Grusha, because right now she's a widow, right? We ruled that her husband died. Or if she's a divorcee from the other marriage, the Chalutza, El Kohen had married an ordinary Kohen. Says about Madam, as it's the said that she even did Znus when Noah Vader was involved, really. And yet she's considered a Kokola, then Koska, surely a Mondo Kohen Godel. And surely if she was a widow of Kohen Godel, when Noah happened, surely over there, then, then, then you cannot rely on a Psak Bezin. <clears throat> and she has to bring a carbon. You can't rely on the Bezin at all. Bezin never gave permission to go behave this way. So surely he committed a sin. Um, this shall be um, I was in Saloy, sorry. Since the coach, I'm going to go, man, I'm the one who says, I'm going to go, the one who says that no, only if she committed a sin do we say she has to bring a carbon. I was in, but if she did some us, even though she shouldn't, Loy, you don't bring a carbon. My time, why? The Omra Atna of the Shavisha Penuya. This opinion says, Bezin didn't say, go ahead, get married. Bezin says, you're now considered single again, as if you were never married, as if you're, you're a free woman. So, Bezin, so once she's a free woman, well, she's no different than any other free woman. And, and if she had Znus with another free man, it's, it's an available, but there's no carbon or anything like that. Talking about the Tani Kavos Rabbi Yechina, we actually learned like Rabbi Yechina, who says that's only when it comes to a sin. Haru Bezin also Bezin ruled that she should get married, get married also. What kill close she ruled? You're going to keep going. For example, I'm on the Kohen Gadol. We're just looking ahead. You're where sin is involved. Chayev is carbon. I call be the beer. You chayev a carbon on every single act. Uh, you could have a lesson. So it could be ten carbonos. I'm going to say carbon echad al kol. You bring only one carbon for all them. Provided you did not realize the middle, this doing something wrong. So it's clearly we're talking about where a sin was committed. Umayim chachamim l'rabbi lazer. Chachamim definitely made it rabbi lazer. Sheim nisas lachamisha ben adam. That if she married five different koyim, <clears throat> she married a koyim and the guy died. Married a koyim, guy died. She chayevus be carbon. A kolech lechad chayev a carbon for each one. Hoyel the gufim bechulakin. 
separate people. Interesting, how did she marry five people? She's a Catalanist. If they all died, she's considered a Catalan, a murderer, and she shouldn't marry more than two people or three people. Here she married five different people. Couldn't be divorced, because then she can't marry a coin head regardless. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, setting one further, next mission. Continuing on the same theme. So what happens? Her issue is all about again, we know we're talking about mistakes where she remarried, thinking that she was allowed to then turn out to be that her first husband's around. But here's a little different here the case with about Ivama. Her issue is all about the dumb is again. Her, her husband and son went overseas on a trip. They went and came back and told her, Mace by the husband died, but after Kaf Mace bin your husband died, you still had a son. So therefore you're a free woman, you're no longer your woman. And then your son died the following day. So now she can marry anybody she wants. But if she does marry somebody the outside of the family and turned out to be their husband's alive, she committed a lot. And the one had more of it. She got married. But Akhach Amro then said, Oi, we were wrong. It was all the way around. Your son died first and then your husband, which means that you should have, if your husband died when you had no children, you had to marry Brunlo. So you're living in sin now, a lot. Tate says she has to leave the first husband, but have lad Risha and the child that she had with this new husband, and the Akron, any children she has later, we'll see later what that means. Mamza, if she continues living with him, is a Mamza. Because this follows Rabbi Akiba, who says that if you live with somebody in sin, even though it's only a lav, a negative Avera, you're, uh, you are what do you call your children are Amrullah, that's case number one. Case number two, Omlul is the other way around. He said there may be Chabak, I mean, by husband outlived your son, which means she has to marry a brother. Now, if she marries a brother when she shouldn't, she actually committed a sin of curse because it's your brother, you're not allowed to live with your brother. It's only if it's a mitzvah of your So here they told her you have a mitzvah of your mama because your son predeceased your husband. Then when it's Yama, so she married a brother, but Achgach, Omlul, then he said after she got married to Bromla, Chilavid was a mistake. In this case, Tate said, in this case, she has to leave the second um, she has to leave the second husband. And here everyone agrees the child's a mamza because you're living with somebody in sin of curse. The first child before the news and the child after the news is a mamza. Uh Umrullah, case number three. He told her Mez by your husband died. Venice and she got married. And afterwards, Umrullah, they said to her, Kaya. Afterwards, they said to her that your husband is alive. When you get married to this new guy, your husband is alive, but the mace, afterwards he died. So they came and said, look, your husband right now is dead anyway, but when you originally married and you had a couple of children, you were still a married woman. So we say here, Tate says she has to leave the second husband because she married him in sin, even though right now they're permitted to live together, but it's forbidden because she married a guy when she's a married woman. The children she had while her husband was alive, is, is the first husband, is Mamazadim, but if she continues living with the second guy and she has more children, Achrein Mamazadim, the latter ones are not Mamazadim. And the Gemara will explain, because we make a distinction in between the earlier children and the later children, that's why in the first two cases of the Mishnah, we say Rishon and Achrein, but really has no relevance. Next case. We already had this thing about it previously. Um, they said to me, by the husband, I've been this So she only got engaged. The Achka, but by the husband came back. We'll tell her, she can go back to the original husband because no Aveda happened. I'm the Bishnah's lach and get. And even though, and you don't even need a get from the second person because you never, never married, and nothing happened. But even if the husband, second husband gave a get, it's a, it's a, it's a worthless piece of paper. Even though generally we say that even if it smells like a get, she's forbidden to marry a coin. But in this case, nothing happened, and the get is worthless, and therefore she's not considered as if she was divorced. As do those of Blazer Master, in fact, the Blazer Master dash from a posse. It says a posse, the Isha Grusha me Isha, the woman was divorced, made Isha from a man. The loy me Isha ain't Isha, but not from a husband, but not from a man who wasn't really your husband. So the mother, the first part of the mission, you made a difference between the he said Rishon and Achan, you know, what you thought was the Yavama, it wasn't, or you thought it wasn't Yavama, it was. He said the first children, the last children, I'm saying, my Isha and my Achan. What do you mean the first children and the last children? the children before she heard about it, until after heard about it. At least they just say, "Have blood mamza." The child is a mamza always. So what I said, you're right. But the in the third case, we're over there where the first her husband was, was alive, and then later she continued living with the second man. The husband now is dead. The husband died. Benisa she married, and she had some children. We made a mistake. He was alive at the time, but the mates now he died. Any children she had previously, any children she has post that news that her husband died, are not and, and there's a big difference. who said, These are the words of Rabbi Kiva that said that Kedushin 
on that toifus bechayavi lam. The Rebbe is the one who said that the children of Mamzerim, because even a lab, if you leave somebody in sin, that's only in a lab. There's no real kedushin over there, and because there's no real kedushin, the children of Mamzerim. Avol chachamim and the chachamim say ein mamzer miyavam. Now this is a bit other. What really the chachamim say is there's no mamzer from a lab, but they don't say that. They say there's no mamzer from a product if, if from yavam that marries a brother-in-law or a marries an outsider. Sounds like it's merely limited to this case of Yavama, and we want to know why. <clears throat> the lame of the says, a mam de aren't they arguing the general principle? Aren't they arguing that there's no mams that if you're merely committing a sin of a love? Why stress that's Yavama? Says, you know why? Because this is not the opinion of the Rabbanon who say that there's no mams by Chayavilav, but rather, this is actually Rabbi Kiva as well, but within Rabbi Kiva, there are two opinions. This is the opinion that says, 